gates in the tree of life. Now a gate is composed of sephirot and the paths that connect those sephirot. Um, there are linear gates, which is two sephirot and a path connecting them. Now there are triangular gates composed of three sephirot and the, path, the three paths that connect those sephirot. Quadrangular with four sephirot and the four paths that connect those sephirot. Pentangular composed of five sephirot and the five paths that connect those sephirot. And hexangular composed of six sephirot and the paths that connect those sephirot. And each gate is a closed form. Okay? So the triangular ones form a triangle. The quadrangular ones form a square, etc. Um, <clears throat> working a gate is akin to the Western Hermetic process of path working combined with sphere working. So what we're doing is we're constructing um, ideological scenarios for ourselves. This is done totally in your mind, okay? This is not an astral experience. This is a purely mental experience because there, there is no location in the universe called Kether. There is no location called Tiferet. These are mental constructs where we're taking ideas and building scenarios with them. So we build up, for example, Kether, the concepts of Kether in our mind, and treat that as a location. We then uh, build up the concepts of Hakma, for example, in our mind, and treat that as a location. And then the path of hay, which connects those two sephirot, we, we build that up again in our mind based on the concepts that I've uh, illuminated in the previous videos. We then travel between Kether and Hakma along this path of hay. Okay? So we're building it all in our mind. <clears throat> and you have to use your creative imagination. Creative imagination to establish what is Kether. And so you go there in your mind as if Kether were a location, as if Hakma were a location, and you travel between the two. But it's not just a location we're dealing with. We're dealing with concepts, states of awareness. That's what the Sephirot are. Different states of awareness of I in its process of self-realization. And so we, we shift our awareness between the Sephirotic states. And that shift of awareness between the sephirotic states is the path, okay? So the first gate is that connection between Kether and Hakma. So we go to Kether and we shift our awareness from Kether to the Hakma state of awareness. Excuse me, from I to I am. And that path of hay is that shift. Aries is that shift of awareness. So that's what we're doing when we work at uh, a gate. Now they're simple, like that single path. But then we come to the triangle. So we're shifting from one state of awareness to another state of awareness, to another state of awareness, to another state of awareness. 
and then we go in reverse, okay? It will make more sense as we go along. So, there's 182 of those ideological constructions that we call a gate, that we explore. And what this does is it puts each of those shifts in context. That is what working the gaze does, it contextualizes all of these aspects of awareness within the individual, okay? So you're doing this to your awareness. That's the subject of the gates, is your awareness. The awareness, which is also your awareness, okay? So this contextualizes all the parts and brings the parts together in all these new ways and uh, in, opens them up within yourself, the various states of awareness and the connections between these states of awareness, all of which is initiatory, all of which takes your awareness forward, lubricates its connections, opens all of the connections within your awareness. And along the way, doing this work with the gates, you learn. You learn about the nature of these states of awareness, i.e. the Sephirot, and you learn really experientially that in your body kind of learning about the paths, about the connections. Okay. <clears throat> so that's the journey we will be taking. Now, I'm not going to lead you through the gates. That's going to be up to you to work the gates. What I'm going to do is tell you what is involved in each gate, the factors involved, and what you can expect to experience in each of the gates, each of the paths connecting the Sephiroth, and what the experience of combining all of those paths and Sephiroth will be, or should be. Now, <clears throat> you don't have to have any great experience to work the gates. But your level of experience will determine the quality of your experience, how objectively accurate your experience is, will increase with time and practice. The more you work the gates, the deeper and more uh, revelatory the experience will be. So at first, it may not be much. I mean, you will discover things, every time you work a path, you will discover something new. But the first time is going to be kind of mild, second time will be deeper, more engaging, third time will be probably very intense. Okay, so the more you work the gates, the more you learn and come to understand about the tree, about the cosmos, about yourself, your own awareness, because that's what the tree is. It's a diagram of your awareness, okay? The awareness of everything. Okay. So, <clears throat> the next video will be the first four gates which are fairly simple gates. There's three linear gates and one triangular gate in the first four. And we will just continue on from there. So, until then. <clears throat>